Hi guys, I'm playing War Robot Frontiers. Uh, this is on Steam Deck, uh, the LCD version. My Steam Deck is on Windows 11 Pro, and uh, it's it was the originally the 64 gigabyte version, which I later on upgraded to one terabyte SSD. Uses the half size SSD is the 2230. Uh, that's the size of the SSD. So if you go on eBay and you want to find the Steam Deck SSD and you don't know the size. The size of the Steam Deck, the SSD I'm talking about, is 2230. If you say 2280, you're gonna get the really long SSD, the long one. It won't fit in this. You need a half size, 2230. The small one, it's a small SSD. Right, so this is saying warning, known issues with graphics driver. If you say yes, it's gonna end the game and you won't be able to play it, you'll have to go find a way to upgrade the drivers. We all know that you can upgrade the drivers on Steam Deck without going to Valve's website first. So what you tap here is no, and check this, it's gonna load the game. That's it, just say no. Uh, you know it, it, the, the graphics drive is old, it's from last year. What can you do? You can't do anything about it. This is all uh, something that happens. Right, so it's gonna take a bit of time to load up, but it's, it will load up. And this uh, War Robots Frontiers was uh, developed by the same uh, developers that made uh, War Robots, so they're the same developers. So if you've ever played War Robots before on Steam or on your iPhone, on your Android phone, then you know that this is the same as that, the same developers, the same, the same people that created that game created this one. Right, it's taking a while to load. Normally I would have come out of this to go into it because this is taking slightly longer. There you go. So it does say World Robots Frontiers, uh, Pixonic, uh, you see, so Pixonic are the people who make uh, World Robots. So it's, it's saying it's here, right? So what we're going to do is wait for it and see if it's going to, uh, if it's going to actually, um, well, it's going to load the game. It's just taking a bit of time. It's saying my games, uh, Unreal Engine, and it's saying Pixonic, and it's, it says loading, so it's gonna take a while. I don't know why it's today. It's like kind of slow. Um, I actually need to. Uh, I don't know what my volume is. No, I was actually looking at the wrong screen. <laughs> I'm, I'm looking at this. I, I'm looking at my. Uh, I'm looking at my. Uh, what you call this? I'm looking at my my laptop screen instead of looking at the steam deck screen and i was wondering like why is it so different you know why why is this thing so looks looks different but then i realized it's, it's not different it's just uh you know it's just one of those things right so it's it's actually loaded now um i do want to change customizations only in uh i'm gonna change the customizations uh in the garage so when I click on a robot, I'm gonna to go to customization. I wanna change this. I don't like colors that show too much because in this game, I think if your robot shows too much, uh, the other players will be able to, it's easier to target. I like neutral colors, that's what I mean. I don't like these showy colors. I've got nice colors, but I like these. These are neutral colors, you understand? Like it may confuse the enemy. They might be thinking, well, that dude looks like he might be on our team, you know? So that's that's what I'm doing with these. Right, so the first one, this one is, uh, this one is uh, Fafnir, and he's got two all kinds of rockets and laser weapon. Uh, second dude is, um, this one is a bulwark. He's got two incinerators with a flamethrowers. And uh, third robot is, I think this one is a raven. I'm not sure because I get confused with these robots. But I think this is a raven robot. It's got two orcans. Uh, those are rockets and two lasers. Uh, the fourth robot is Fury. And he carries... Uh, you see the color? You guys know the color, the red color. If you play War Robots, you know about this one. He's got two pulses and he's got a trebuchet in the middle. But I do want to swap... 
I do want to change his. Um, I do want to change his. Yeah, I want to edit the build. I want to change his weapons. I don't know if it will let me change them, because he's using impulses. They're not bad weapons, but I want to give him the thunder weapons and the thunder are uh, actually um, shotgun type weapons. Oh yeah, this thing is too heavy. Right, so that's the problem. It's the weight issue. Right, so it's got thunder. I think it, it will try to remove one of the... I'm going to try different weapons. See what weapon it will allow me to, to have. Uh, this is the problem. It's in a power issue. If it's not a weight issue, it will go to a power issue. So I think that is where the problem is. Right, so there's nothing I can do. I just have to use the pulsar weapons. Right, that's fine. Uh, it's gone back to normal. Right, let me just make sure the customization, yeah, it hasn't changed. So that's a Fury, it's got two pulses. It's like, um, that pulse is like a cannon. It goes, you know, the one, tu, 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 it goes, two, 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 like that, makes that weird noise. It's a laser weapon. So it, it's like a cannon, it keeps firing. The one in the middle is called Trebuchet, that's a, it's a sniper weapon. It's like a cannon, but when it's fully loaded, it shoots with all its power. So it causes a lot of damage. That's why I say it's a, a sniper weapon. The one in the middle is a trebuchet, right? For the last robot, this should be a fury. This is a fury uh, robot. Uh, sorry, it's a happy. I don't know why I'm saying fury. It's a happy robot, and uh, this one has got trebuchet in the in the top. The sniper weapon. I told you the cannon fires once, causes a lot of damage, and the, these are two vortex. These missiles are heat seeking missiles. They're the ones that go over obstacles. The orcan is shooting a straight line. But these need a target so they go over so they do cause quite a lot of damage when they hit you right so i've done all of that stuff so i'm just gonna play the game uh wait let me go into uh settings i know this hasn't changed go to graphics it says windowed full screen a uh, windowed full screen that's full uh full screen mode is windowed full screen uh vertical sync is off uh display gamma is 2.20 uh overall quality is medium so all of these are medium, but I'll just read them out for you. View distance, medium. Wait, let me <laughs> let me change this. I'm changing it to epic. Yeah, because it's just view distance, isn't it? I'm going to say epic for view distance. Then post-processing is medium. Uh, shadows is medium. And then uh, global illumination is medium. Uh, let's see. I don't know what this one is. Let's see. Uh, reflections is medium, textures is medium, visual effects is medium, foliage, that's like grass, that's medium, shading uh, is medium, and let's see, this uh, motion blur is off, uh, show frame rate, I told you guys never to use this, it will really mess up your game, you can even shut down your game, if you find like you're playing the game, and then it's showing the FPS count, and then suddenly it shuts down the game, turn this off, uh, it's still in its early stages you know the game is still in its beta stages they're still developing for the game so this show f frame rate i don't know what yours if you're using a laptop might be different but on steam deck on mine uses window windows uh it does crash the game so i don't use the show fps count upscaling i use fsr1 and fsr1 mode is performance and sharpness is set to 100 percent Dynamic resolution. I told you don't use this. You can also crash your game uh, But you know what you can also use you can use TSR and Resolution scale to 100% anti-aliasing quality to medium But I'm going to set this to epic and sharpness to 100% this one this I learned this from my laptop I, I usually use FSR 1 which is the FSR for Steam Deck, but it does support TSR a TSR does have resolution scale of 100% and sharpness, right? Uh, sorry, uh, upscaling TSR, resolution scale is 100%, anti aliasing quality I said to epic and sharpness 100%. I just wanted to try this today and see how it plays. Uh, on controls, go to controls, mouse sensitivity, mine is set to 7%. If you guys want to use 35%, use that. But my suggestion is 7% is the best. Uh, just try and change it to 7% and see how your game works. Right, let's try this. 
Why did I put view distance as epic? It will just show you things in the distance and then you can see the enemy from a distance. And obviously, it might just help you with your gameplay. If you find that a lot of the time, you can't see the enemy that well, but you want to see them and you want to cause damage to them, isn't it? The game is all about winning. So if you find yourself like, oh, every time I play this game, I'm not doing as well as I used to, that might be the problem. So just uh, try a different upscaling uh, method on your Steam Deck for uh, War Robots and see how that performs. Obviously, if the game plays better, then you've done a good job. And if it doesn't play better, you can always revert back to the original uh, graphic settings, isn't it? You can always go back to normal. Because you can also detect graphic settings as well. And it can set it um, uh, to, a, to a better standard that you can play. Right, let's see. Uh, first robot. I think this is Fafnir. So dude has got two Orcans rockets. And it's got a, a laser weapon. A mercenary's job is never done. Right, so the pilot now talks. I told you the trust team in this game looks really awesome. Uh, I think my screen's a bit too dark, so I need to lighten it. I'm using the iPhone 14 Pro Max to record. Uh, this robot does have rockets and it's got laser on it. So, uh, the nature of this game, you can build your robots all the way from the, the legs part uh, to the from the legs part to the I don't know what what else to say. From the legs to the to the upper part of the body, you can uh, build your robot. So it doesn't have to be a fixed build. If you don't like what you have, you can change it. I think that's a better way of saying it. So if you just want to use fire and you've got something that's not a fire-based robot, you can change it and make it into a fire-based robot. If you just want to use heavy weapons and you're not happy with what you've got, you can change it and use exactly that. So you do not need to be stuck on something that you don't want. This is all cans, got rockets and two lasers. You can also change your viewing angle. I told you the, the better way to play this, uh, especially if you want to use your Joseph's controller, is um, just don't use the USB cable. Um, connect this via Bluetooth to your Steam Deck. Um, if it's not connecting properly, there's software you can use called uh, PlayStation Accessories, and the PlayStation Accessories may be the better option. The PlayStation Accessories uh, is, an, is an app or a firmware that allows you to, um, to uh, what, what you call this thing? It will allow you, oh damn, it will allow you to update your firmware for your Joseph's controller, but it's, it's not just for, for, uh, for, your, for the firmware. It also allows you to connect your Joseph's controller to um, to the to your Steam Deck via Bluetooth, and the good thing about it is that it makes the latency or the connection a little bit better. Ah, oh, damn. Okay, I made it. It makes the connection a little bit better, and it it does. Yeah, that guy is nailing it, but uh, if I do get a few shots on him, I will cause a lot of damage. Yeah, he's uh, about to destroy me. <laughs> He got my robot. I, I knew he was gonna destroy me. He's got five punishers on him. He's got five uh, machine guns on him. Obviously, he's gonna cause a lot of damage. Uh, and you know, he's pretty confident. He's not coming close to anyone. He's, he's keeping his distance and he's causing all that damage. Oh, damn. Someone's got a Titan. Right, so Titans do cause slightly more damage. Depends on what Titan you get. If you are clever, you will get yourself the Grim Titan. That's the one that uh, comes. That's the one that comes with um, with uh, spinning the head, and that one does cause a lot of damage. Wow, that guy's still alive. 
Right. Uh, my incinerators, those are heavy weapons, and they are flamethrowers. You can you can actually zoom in the enemy, and you can actually. Um, Right, so that guy got destroyed. Right, so someone, uh, the enemy team here has got a, a, a Titan robot. You know what, I'm noticing that there's a bit of lag on the game. So I'm going to go into the settings really quick. Uh, go to graphics and uh, turn down, uh, turn this back to medium. If it lets me. Right, it's not letting me change it. Um, okay, okay. I think it's, it put it down. The epic thing wasn't a good idea anyway. So the fuse distance, I've set this back to medium. You know what I think it is? I think it's the... Wait, I think it's the upscaling that I'm using. This TSR thing. I'm going to change this back to FSR. Yeah, FSR 1. And use performance again. And see... Oh, damn. I don't want this, man. What happened here? I don't want the FPS thing. I'm gonna turn that off. Ah, uh, yeah, there you go. I think the, the FSR, the, the mode that I was using wasn't good, the TSR. I, I've changed it back to FSR, and you can actually see the graphics look a whole lot better. They're not as broken up as they were before. This guy is about to cause too much damage to my robot, so I need to hide a bit. Uh, my robot, this is the, um, I think this is Bulwark, Bulwark carrying the incinerators, these are flamethrowers. So let's see what we can do here. Titans, zero Titans. What kind of team is this? So this, these these dudes are just gonna crush everyone. Uh, this is a team deathmatch, and I know you're saying, how can you tell? Well, it's it's simple. You can see it from uh, from the top there. There's no triangles. Uh, if there's no triangles at the top here, at the top if there are no triangles, that means it's a team deathmatch. And you can tell that every time someone gets knocked out. All of those little dots disappear. So it seems on our team got two people that were knocked out, completely knocked out. They've they've lost all the robots, and that's how I know that this is a team that's match. If this was a big and rush, most of these robots wouldn't be fighting each other as much as they're doing right now. See, I'm gonna get destroyed very soon. Uh, so my suggestion is don't use TSR, use um, FSR instead. Because that seems to be a whole lot better for the game. As you can now see the difference even with the graphics. Everything is more solid. Uh, before when I was playing this game, I noticed like there was a lot of lag. And I was playing it and I was like, no, I can't play it like this. No, I mean this game does work. Alright, so that is not uh, Grim. That is the other Titan. But it's still a formidable Titan. Because it does cause a lot of damage. It uses sound weapons. And it can use machine guns as well. Uh, fire in this game does cause a lot of damage. You see, those dudes are all using fire. Uh, I'm gonna get destroyed. Yeah, these guys are, are targeting me. This dude is hiding over there. He, he doesn't know who's hitting him, but I'm sure he knows that someone above. You see, he knows where I am, but how is he supposed to come down? Man, man. Why aren't people targeting this dude? I can't see where this dude is at. Alright, so. Oh, wow. Alright. He now know, he knows where I am. He wants me to come down. If I go down, that's when I'll be dead. That's when I'll die. Check this out. Look at all of them. All these dudes just attacking one person. <laughs> Oh, there's some, someone from my team got knocked out. Someone got knocked out on my team. Right. 
that's the last robot I've got. And if if I don't get my Titan, so this is the um, yeah, this is a happy robot. It's got two vortex, and it's got um, trebuchet, which is a cannon. The one I told you about that when it's powered up, it does cause quite a lot of damage. Look at this dude. I'm gonna find my special weapon for him. Wait, he's frozen my robot. Look at that. I'm frozen. Oh damn. Wow! Damn! It's the same dude who's got the, the Punisher thing, the machine guns. Right. So there's there's only me and one more person on my team. There's two of us versus three of them and those dudes still have robots on their on their side i got no more robots left and after my titan that's the end right let me see i need a target let's get a target come on come closer damn it this game hits here you see the problem i think with this game as well people don't understand if you get your titan early it's it's actually better for the team, isn't it? Wait. Um, I want to see. Right. I need. I need to find the target. There you go. I'm gonna fire some rockets on that dude. Hopefully destroy him. There you go. He lost his robot. Yeah, I've got to kill. Right. So they've got another Titan. These dudes, I just got their titans out, man. This guy is just walking, he's taking a stroll. Yeah, if I wish this, uh, this weapons that we have would just, oh damn, I think it's coming to the top. <laughs> By the time it reaches here, I'll, I'll have my, um, I'll have my uh, weapons ready for him. <laughs> my laser. Ah, oh, damn. You know, this is the problem. So I can't tell where that guy has gone to. But there's only one way to come up here, which is there. And he's got a small robot. He's, he's not going to be able to come up any other way but there. You see, that's the only way up. To come up to me is that way. But um, they also can just kill time by not even coming to me. And then obviously... Come on, man. Come on, yes, yes, got a kill. No, I, I need to, no. Man, you know, some of these buttons are still finicky. Right, so it's only me versus, there's still three on their team. So yeah, I mean, oh damn, check this out. What type is it? Oh, it's a, it's a green, no, it's not a green, it's a, um, man, you know, I forget the name of this Titan. He thinks I'm dumb, I won't go down. If he was clever, he should come up here. But I think he, he knows that if he comes up and I've got a laser, then it's, got, it's not gonna be good for him. You see, he thinks I'm gonna go down. <laughs> if I go down, I'll lose my robot, I'll die. So I'm not dumb. I want him to come close so I can kill him. I think they're gonna win anyway, they'll win, because I only got one uh, of this robot left, and then that's it. Right. Look at that. <laughs> it's, just, it's like, what? It's like if only I had an alpha. Let's see if I can annihilate this robot. <laughs> if I could just destroy him, that would make it a whole lot easier, you know? Uh, my rockets will hit him. Let's see, he's not dying yet, man. This is a problem. Now look at that robot. So that dude is like... What is the weapon? Oh, come on. Oh, no! Oh, my God. Oh, wow. That was almost a mistake. I don't know what's happening. Come on. <laughs> Come on! I don't want to die like this! Damn! I'm trying to look for a button, man. 
This thing is so dumb. What button is this? That's the button. Okay, it's O. Right, that's what I wanted. Such a dumb thing. You see those things? They're moving in to kill. <laughs> Destroy my robot. Where's this dude? Where are you, bro? I've got a present for you. Where did you shoot me from? Ah, oh, damn. Time is running out. I just want to annihilate one more robot. See, I can't see where they are. Someone's shooting here, but I can't see where they're at. All right, just wait, just wait. Let me change my viewing angle. Right there. Did I get him? Ah, oh, damn. show you which robot did the most damage and uh, it's gonna show me now yeah the Titan did the most damage out of all the robots right so that is War Robot Frontiers for you not a bad game at all quite quite a good game the next game I'll be playing will be War Robots remember this game is designed by the same developers that made War Robots Right, so the best overall quality, in my opinion, for Steam Deck, uh, for this game on Steam Deck, the LCD, is medium. All of these settings are set to medium. Um, that's overall graphics quality. I think that's the best. Don't use motion blur. Don't use show F, uh, frame rate because I told you it will mess up your game. And upscaling, I use TSI. It's not good for the game. It's, uh, it's horrible. Just use FSR 1. And then for FSR uh, 1 mode, use performance. Sharpness, 100%, no problem. Uh, detecting auto set. You don't need to use the detecting auto settings. I mean, the dynamic resolution, you don't need this. And auto detect, you don't need it. Just play this on medium. As I showed you, the graphics are good. Controls, like I said, mouse sensitivity will be 35%. I think 7% is better because it's slower. It's much slower and it's easier to actually play the game right I just want to see the FPS count I've been doing this the whole day I've been looking at the FPS count of games uh, it says War Robots Frontiers is set at um, 37.3 FPS so all these games are, are like getting below 40 except for Call of Duty 3 that actually got 40 FPS uh, Fallout, F, uh, Fallout 84 got 37.1 FPS but remember this was using Overall graphics quality ultra. Uh, Vigor uh, is uh, v Vigor was on medium, and it was thirty five point six FPS. And uh, War Robots Frontiers is also on medium, and that got thirty seven point three FPS. Call of Duty actually got last time fifty six point one FPS, but today uh, it only gave me. I'll try and zoom in so you guys can see what I'm talking about. Call of Duty only got about 40 fps i hope you guys can see that it does say uh 40.9 fps that's call of duty 3 right there that's call of duty if i log into if i show you guys call of duty modern warfare that's uh that's call of duty 3 and that only got 40 fps today uh i think the main reason why it got 40 fps is because i played the new map which was uh drive through and if you guys have played drive through then you know that that's uh, season 6 map the new map on um, Call of Duty 3 uh, for season 6 is drive through so maybe that's the reason I didn't play Mosh Pit so I can't compare Mosh Pit to the drive through one because drive through is just one map uh, with different uh, kill confirm, team death match, domination and hard point it's got all of the, the different uh, matches like the different things you can do but it is uh, a very dark map and it's uh it might be the reason why the fps count is low but the same settings that i set on my steam deck for call of duty is the same way i played it last time i mean the, the same settings minimum um you know the render resolution is 50 percent it was all low but still i couldn't get about 40 fps so i mean it is what it is that's war robots frontiers for now and that's 37 FPS. 